Hi guys, the picture you were looking at was the headline in the local paper just a few days ago. Now this property was one of the first explores I did when I started my YouTube channel. Uh, but I also went back a few months ago to do a revisit. And whilst I was there, I noticed on the second visit that somebody or some people were actually living in the place. It looked like maybe two or three people were living there in, in one room, sleeping in one room. The place had been cleaned up as best as it could have been after being devastated by the fire. The rubble, roof tiles were all thrown out into the garden. The piano had been uprighted and the bedroom door downstairs was tied shut with some string. So I knew people had been in there. Well, when I opened the door, I had to pull the string off of the door. It was holding it shut tight. And as I walk into the room, it's pretty dark, but I shine the torch and camera across on my left hand side along the length of a sheet lying on the floor. And I remember thinking at the time, I hope that isn't somebody asleep underneath that sheet. But I carried on exploring anyway. Um, and then I see the report that a guy was there taking photos. Uh, he had to undo the string to go in the door. And it had a mattress pushed up against the door. And the, the guy was dead inside the room. Now... My concern is it wasn't just one guy. I think there was more than one guy. And how did he manage to tie up the string from the outside and be inside the room? It's a bit sinister. But take a look at my video, guys. You'll see what I mean. I think it'll be around 10 minutes 30 I enter the room. Let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, I've come back to Ozen Gel Farmhouse in Broadstairs. Now I nicknamed this place the Witch's House just because it reminded me of a burnt out house in the woods, even though you've got a busy main road behind. It was surrounded by trees. Set back in slightly. But after doing a bit of research, I found out that this place actually belonged to a professional wrestler. 
Paul Jackie Palo. He used to wrestle in the 60s and 70s. I'm standing all around guys, as I told this is the garage. Well, Jackie Palo lived here with his wife until he died in 2006 from cancer. Whoops. Yeah, it's a bit more trash than when I came here before, guys. Just so you can see the extent, there was a fire here early last year. Totally destroyed the place. Apparently there used to be a swimming pool too in the back garden. But that's long since gone, been filled in. His wife Trixie stayed living at the property, but she also died in 2013. Big old teddy bear. Not much left, guys, but enough to have a look. Hmm. Well, there was a piano and all sorts in here guys, but we'll have a look, see what's left, like I say it has been ransacked. Hello?
and someone is leaving you guys. Um, Hello? Safe. Right. Put out before they come on. Definitely someone down. As you can see, whoever's living here, they chose the only room with any protection. The only bit of a roof on it. Still stinks of smoke in there, guys. But yeah. and Joe Farmhouse. It is going to be demolished by like so many others. But the plans to build six houses here were turned down this year. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Right guys. I'm out of here before somebody comes back. Cheers, guys.